Jessie, and today I have a review for you of the book Downworld by Rebecca Phelps. This is a YA, like, sci-fi book, and it comes out on March 30th. In this book, we follow Marina. Marina? Marina? We're gonna go with Marina because I might be saying it wrong. She is a 16-year-old high school student who just transferred to a new school and she doesn't really know anybody which is really weird because like this is the town that she grew up in like she kind of recognizes some people but not really and she's kind of plagued by the fact that a few years earlier her brother died in a tragic train accident and that's kind of the one thing that people remember about her and know about her and her family is that she's a girl whose brother died in a train accident and so she goes to this high school and she kind of uh, stumbles upon these three doors to alternate dimensions. And we kind of get to realize, like, is reality what we think it is? Is it what we perceive? Is there something we can do to change it? And what is behind these doors? So yeah, this was, this was an interesting one for me. Um, I ended up giving it three stars. I wanted to enjoy it more than I did. I almost DNF'd it. I struggled in the beginning because it was so cliche YA, right? Girl goes to high school, meets a boy, and falls in love five minutes later. Literally. It, it mentions that. It's like, oh, I think I love him. It's like, girl, you met him for five minutes. Like, please stop. But as the book goes on, I liked it more and more. Once we got out of that kind of angsty YA high school love thing, um, I started to really like it more once we're actually in the like multi-dimensional travel alternate planes aspect of the book. I didn't love it though. I had quite a few cons about this book and there were some pros. Like I think there's definitely people out there that are going to love it and I think it's really cool specifically that this book is like traditionally published through Wattpad. So it is a Wattpad published book because I always thought Wattpad and I guess they were up until recently was like a just like a platform online where people submitted their manuscripts for people to read for free online and now they're actually doing like traditional publishing which I think is really cool and I think that really opens the doors for more people who want to be traditionally published to actually move forward with that. So that I think is really cool. I just think this book fell flat in quite a few places and could have done with some extra revisions. I wanna start off with the pros though, and that is that I really loved the premise. I love anything that has to do with like time travel or different planes or multiverse. Like at first it kind of sounded very much like dark matter to me like the concept was very dark matter-esque and then kind of combined with like the space between worlds with like interdimensional travel and I thought that it just sounded really cool and a lot of the concepts in the book were really cool and I just I wanted to love it more than I did but the concept was really cool it was kind of like it wanted to be a YA dark matter I also really enjoyed the depiction of a mother in this book. While she is one of our side characters, I, as a mom, appreciated it. I think this was a very good depiction of a grieving mother multiple years after her child has passed away and trying to kind of hold it together while still raising her current child that's still here with her, but mourning the death of another child. So I think that was really well done. And that is something that I really, really appreciated in this book. And then I also liked the ending. I liked the ending because I thought it wasn't super expected. I think it was very well done. It kind of like, you know, subverted some tropes and kind of threw you for a loop. So I really appreciated the way the author decided to end this and make it kind of a more different ending than I expected, a more open ending. And I just thought that that was really well done. So I definitely think there were some good 
aspects to this book. I think the writing was good. I just feel like it might just not be for me, but I do feel like the writing was good. It just needed some revisions. And now kind of for the cons. Um, like I said, I felt like it needed some revisions. I feel like the beginning of this book was very choppy, right? I felt like it was very jumpy. We jumped time so much. Like I think the first like couple chapters take place in like the course of a whole school year. So it's like I didn't feel super connected with our main character or any of the side characters because it's like, oh, I saw him. Oh, I love him. Oh, we're friends now. Oh, I'm friends with this person. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's been six months. Like we opened the book and she's starting high school. And then like a couple chapters in, they're graduate. Like her, it's the end of the year and the seniors are graduating and she's moving up a grade. And I'm like, whoa, talk about whiplash. Like that was really fast. But I feel like that didn't give us enough time to develop relationships with the characters that we're supposed to care about. So that was a little disappointing on that end. But once we kind of got past that high school stage, it started to progress at a better pace, I think. I also just didn't love the love. I found it cringy. Um, there's like this weird love triangle that I just wasn't here for. And she was like in love with this one character within five minutes. And then this other character apparently has been like in love with her for like their entire life. And we just never knew it, which is still a little weird. But like the older, the one guy character kept calling her like kiddo and like saying that she's like his little sister and stuff like that. And it just like, she really was like into him and he, it was just so weird. It was cringy. I did not like the romance in this book at all. Honestly, I think it could have done without any romance in this book and been a, an improvement overall. The romance was just bad and cringy and I did not like it. I'm not here for it. I also feel like there were so many unanswered questions, which I get, right? Like it's a like interdimensional travel, inner whatever dimensions, different planes. And I get that it's going to be kind of open, but like, I feel like there was some real big plot points that were missed. There were just some super like what I felt would be important questions that were not answered like there were things i ended the book going okay but what about this like we fixed it but what about this wouldn't wouldn't there have been something about this over here or this like what happened to this person and what happened so there was just a lot of unanswered questions like i'm okay with an open ending but when you set something up I want you to finish it, right? Like you set something up to be an integral part of the story and then it just wasn't. Then it just was like, oh. Like everything a lot of the time was just kind of explained away as being interdimensional travel. That's just how it is on other planes. And, so, and I'm like, but that don't make no sense. Like I'm not a science person. So maybe somebody who is more scientific brained than me should read this and let me know. I didn't feel like the science behind the travel and the portals made a whole heck of a lot of sense. Um, I would actually like to see Angela from Literary Science Alliance um, do a behind the magic on this because I'm confused. Like it talks about the atomic bomb and just splitting atoms and the planes and how that's how that happened. And I'm like, what? Like, maybe I'm just stupid. Not a physics person. I'm not a science person. Like I'm a creative person. Like that's just not my jam. But a lot of it just didn't make sense to me. And there were so many unanswered questions that I just wanted more. I feel like if it would have gone back to more, I don't know, revisions, more edits something along those lines it could have been like really honed in and done really well because like i said it gave me some really serious dark matter vibes and i loved dark matter this just felt flat for me all in all it was not a bad book i recommend you picking it up if you like ya sci-fi and interdimensional travel and if you just want to give it a try and support a new author who's you know published through wattpad and i just thought that was really cool
But like I said, maybe it's just me. Maybe it just wasn't for me and that's okay. But I wanted to come on here and give you my thoughts on Downworld. And now I wanna know kind of what you think. Does this sound like one you would pick up? It was one of my most anticipated releases. So I am a little bummed, but you know what? You win some, you lose some. And this one just wasn't for me. All right, well, thank you guys for hanging out. I will talk to you next time. Bye.